what is up guys it's me your boy Jiminet welcome back to another voiceover video of profit so today we're going to talk about the summer festival i will tell you guys how to be prepared for the event later but before this video starts i want you guys to hit the like button right now and also please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet and now let's get started all right summer festival this event will start in a couple of weeks I guess well I'm not sure when because you know it's pretty random so I think we should prepare for the event as soon as possible but honestly summer festival is not a really profitable event you know it really depends on gacha in order to earn profit during the summer you know everything is about spending gold locks spending gems you know Grotopia is trying to make you poor at the summer festival but I think there's a couple of things that you're able to do in order to be prepared for the summer festival First one is to prepare some gems. So, um, I think it's pretty obvious for us to save gems for the summer festival. You know, the summer pack will be available to purchase during the event, which will cost about five. I mean, fifteen thousand gems. Last year, it's fifteen thousand gems. You know, by buying the pack, you will get a summer surprise, a beach blast, and a hundred of fireworks. Well, you can sell the packs for quite expensive in the first or second day of the event. You know, sometimes the price is kind of expensive. Obviously, more profitable than selling surgery pack or galactic pack, any other packs in the normal days. And moreover, I'm sure there will be a lot of new items that can be obtained using the summer surprises, which will make the demand of summer pack higher. Now, it could be a new finish item or a new innovation. I don't know. It's, pre it's pretty unpredictable, I, I would say. But I think we should prepare some gems because it's really crucial for the event. So if you love to farm, go break some laser grids right now. You have to prepare a lot of gems for this event because, you know, it's pretty important. Moving on. And the next one is Summer Surprise. I know it sounds weird or maybe a little bit new, but here's how it works. Well, I'm sure you guys already know that we can spawn a summer surprise by, spam by spamming the fireworks in your world. So the method is you have to buy fireworks for cheap and then just simply spam them in your world and then if you're lucky enough there's some, a couple of summer surprises will spawn in your world. After that you'll be able to sell the place summer surprise in your world for some, I don't know, some world locks or some diamond locks. I will definitely make the video about this trick once the event starts. You know, it's pretty simple and I've done it last year during the, the Summer Festival in 2020. And yeah, I earned some profit. Well, I'm gonna give you uh, some ex some example of how to do it. Uh, first of all, just simply go to, you know, a uh, clear word like blah blah blah. Okay? I need to put a word lock here and then uh, I mean, once the event start, you have to buy a lot of cheap fireworks, and I'm just spamming in the world like this. And then, if you're lucky enough, then there might be a summer surprises. I mean, they will spawn in the world if you're lucky enough. You have to definitely spam a lot of them. Now, last year I spam like, let's say, 2,000 of fireworks, and then I ended up with. 20 plus of summer surprises so i guess it's pretty profitable i would say you can also get some embers you know embers i don't know how to spell it but anyways it can be used to make the uh chimera wing but that's not really important i would say moving on and the last but not least is gacha well as i mentioned before summer festival is kind of like an event to spend your warlocks the event is made to make you poor by Grotopia, I would say. Uh, there's a chance of getting rare items, you know. Uh, it could be a Phoenix item or any expensive item by smashing the summer surprises or blowing some super firework. You now there's also a chance of getting the super firework by breaking these things. But I don't really recommend to do that except you're rich or you're feeling lucky. Well, I did the summer surprise gacha back in the days and got nothing. But luckily, there was a rollback, so I lose nothing. Uh, there's a lot of items you can get from gacha, so I will show you in the wiki fandom later. But first of all, 
I'm going to buy one summer surprise then I'm just gonna try to blow it up and let's see if we can get lucky let's go all right so we have the summer surprise now also I bring my friend out here to break the summer surprise together but well, the best prize we could get is the um, super firework so let's see if we're lucky enough you know I'm not hoping that much but let's just see Definitely the trust. Yeah. <laughs> Bruh. I got a hula bubble hat. I got a flying disc and four seaweed. Uh, 20 warlocks for those? God damn, it's not really worth it at all. But at least this thing looks cool. Hey. Alright, we're at the wiki fandom right now. Well, as you can see, there's a lot of prizes right here that we can get from Gacha and um, yeah first of all you can get a super summer surprise by breaking 20 ordinary summer surprise that's how it works okay so uh, and you're able to get Felix scarf which is really expensive you can get it for breaking the super summer surprise or super firework and actually I did the super summer surprise Gacha last year I was hoping to get the Neptune Strident because it was about a couple of BGLs back then. No, and then I ended up with Dolphin, Bruh. which is a rip, definitely a rip. You can also get you now a lot of items right here. Uh, you can also get Starfish Leaves, and there's a chance of getting it. And a lot of items right here by performing surgery or maybe defeating a feeling during the summer festival. Uh, these are the prices from summer in 2020 uh, let's take a look at the summer 2019 you now there's a lot of items you can get from breaking summer surprises we can actually earn profit by breaking the summer surprises you know uh, breaking 20 of them and you will get a super summer surprise we can sell them for really really expensive and we can also get some prices you know like let's say if you're lucky enough you can get the super firework which will cost really really expensive now you can check the prices yourself at the wiki fan i mean at the growtopia.fan.com slash wiki slash summer fest all right so that's actually all the ideas i could come up with for the summer festival preparation you know there's a lot not a lot of things we can do in the event you know, i told you before that it's not a really profitable event so you just gotta save some gems you know prepare some gems you can also sell some gems you can check this video right here it's very very profitable since you know gems are really needed in the event so i think that the price will increase a little bit probably and the next one you can do gacha too now there will be a lot of new items coming out on this event and just try to do a couple of gacha and who knows you're lucky enough to get the best price and the next one is the firework profit method you know the spam, the spamming one i will definitely leave back the video as soon as the event start all right thanks for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed it also huge shout out to fitzn my friend he's also a growth open youtuber so make sure to check his channel out at fitzn i'll put the link in the description and uh, if you have another thoughts about how to earn profit in summer festival make sure to leave them in the comment below and let us know Yep, that's it for this video. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.